Yo, what is up my people? Now, as usual, before we go ahead and get into this, I want to quickly show you guys my driver rating. This is obviously a road to glory. We're trying to get to the promised land of A+. If you do not watch any of the other episodes in this series, link down in the description for the playlist. But with that being said, this week we are at Dragon's Trail. It's a mandatory one-stop on racing mediums. I'm not gonna lie, this car and track combo, it was pretty sensational. Definitely one that I thoroughly enjoyed as we go to lights out here in race one. As we can see, we qualified P. Juan. And as you can see, we managed to navigate turn one successfully. Something that doesn't happen very often in these B lobbies on Gran Turismo 7, so it does have to be celebrated. Oh, it just doesn't get much better than that, does it really? Okay. Okay, it could Bro. get a little bit better than that. It could get a little bit better than that. And we did our utmost to keep P1. And to be honest, it was pretty straightforward right at the front. I couldn't lose this guy in second. He was there sniffing around. The G70 seems to be the kind of off meta. And the Citroen seems to be the strongest car on this track. As usual, all these races were recorded early in the week. This was the Monday, so yesterday's stream. Shout out to everyone that joined us. And yeah, that, that first sector, I absolutely love that first sector. It's really hard to nail every single time, but when you do get it, it just feels so rewarding when you kind of measure the distance from the curb and how far you need to go over it. I absolutely love that section of the track. One of my favorites in this game. I've just got to tap in. I've just got to put in my laps. That's all I can do. Can't seem to break away from him though. And indeed, we just couldn't get away from him. We were still setting purple sector, so we were still, you know, going pretty fast, but we just couldn't seem to get rid of him. Honestly, at this point in the race, we'd hardly had a ding dong battle with anyone, as you can see, riding that inside curb. Playing a dangerous, dangerous game here when you're in first. Didn't really need to do that. As you can see, guy behind us goes wide. I don't believe that he actually got one penalty the whole race, which is a bit insane. As you will soon see, you will wonder how he didn't get a penalty at all as we are now fast forwarding as nothing really much happened it was just me kind of extending the gap it was a pretty lonely race up front for the prime lewis hamilton current max verstappen you know literally just building a gap trying to get a gap on the old pit delta and then we can see the dude behind me in the g70 he does pit on lap six so subsequently that meant we were going to have to come into the pits we had a fair big gap of like three or four seconds this is one of my earlier races in the day so i didn't really know how powerful the overcut or undercut was going to be but as you can see we come into the pits for a set of fresh new mediums so now looking at the replays i know that he's on old medium so he didn't change at the pit stop and he's still three seconds behind even though we took fresh medium so look i told you the pace is here but you you already know what's going to happen. <laughs> classic. Classic hippo. Classic hippo. Come on, get back on the road. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Dirty tyres, and now I've let him back in. And just like that, we let him back in. What was once three seconds? No, now it's a P2. You can see the delta there. 2.5 seconds on my best lap. Literally all of that lap. I just messed up, basically, and he put in absolute barnstormer of a time. All relatively clean for now, but don't worry. That is soon going to change as we go into the penultimate lap here. Still behind the Swiss guy, but I was eating time out of him. I absolutely had the raw pace, but you also notice the guy behind me. KK boy. Also setting in fastest laps of the race as we are looking to make a move on the Swiss dude here in the G70. I'm just trying to pick my moment. I knew I was faster than him overall, and I was just trying to make... Make sure I picked the right moment to go for an attack. So here we go as we come up to the final lap of this race. It's all to play for. It's a three-way battle from the lead. That guy behind us, he's really not that far away at all. As you can see, he's setting a new PB for this race. Just put in a 38.795. So not too far off the fastest lap of this race. Give him plenty of space. Trying to get it done on the outside nice and cleanly. And look. That's how you want to play it, huh? Honestly, on the replay, it looks even worse. It looks like he's aimed for me. Where was he going? That is not where the track goes, my friend. Honestly, this happens so much in today's stream. These B lobbies are just like bumper carts at some point. But I was like, you know what? If you want to get your elbows out, I'll get my elbows out too. And that is exactly what we did as we're coming into the final few corners of this race. We're still side by side. This is for the race 
win. All I had to do was hang it around the outside. I knew my fate on this race landed on this last corner. He swerves to the outside, swerves to the inside. We go ahead, hang it around the outside. And what on earth is this? Mate, he's ramming me. Ah, oh, no way. He hit me on the last corner. Oh, why did he do that? Stop it. Get some help. Mate, your mother would not be proud of you. Your mother would not be proud of you for this blatant maneuver. Now, honestly, on his chase cam, it didn't look too bad. But then you go over to the guy behind me and look at this. Oh, look at that disgusting behavior. An absolute quash. <laughs> maneuver there absolutely terrible ruined our race but it's not over today we're gonna go over to race two here you can see we actually qualified p1 looking to right the wrongs of the last few races here about four or five hours into the stream here we go it is a light out and as you can see similar to the last race we're just keeping a nice gap on p2 but if i thought the last race was close this one was an all new ball game we can see we've got two other citrons behind us the brit and the german cj and andy yeah. They were really, really putting the pressure on me. I think having experienced what I experienced earlier in the stream with all the ramming and bumping and diving, yeah, it definitely kind of made me a little bit apprehensive. As we can see here, going into my favorite section of the track, leaping over that curb like some type of safari animal. As we go on to lap two here, we can see, look at him sniffing around. He's sniffing around. They're so close, but not able to get the move done this time. And these lot basically continued pestering me. As we go into the penultimate corner of the track here, we can see getting proper, proper close. A slight, slight tap on the rear, but nothing major. I mean, I'll give it to this guy. He's uh, not backing off, is he? Look, it's not all rammers and, you know, virgins. Occasionally, you'll get some people that actually give you a good race. But, well, at least I thought these guys weren't virgins until, you know, you'll see what happens later. Corner. Ah, oh, Cam. What is going on? I'm all over the shop, lads. I'm all over the shop. Dial in, dial in, dial in, dial in, dial in, dial in. Some mistakes slowly starting to creep in. Uh, and I think that's kind of part and parcel of watching a straight up hippo video, unfortunately. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and fast forward these laps here. Because to be honest, nothing much really happened. Similar to the last race, there's kind of like this middle section in the race where I seem to get away and build a gap and get in a bit of a flow. Um, and the guys are still following behind. You know, they're not really making up any huge mistakes. They do start battling at one point, which obviously doesn't help. And then I decide to come into the pit and try to go for the undercut. Now, to be honest, I didn't really think about this very well because when we come out of the pits, as you'll see in a minute, uh, we came out in front of loads of traffic. Damn. Yeah, not a pro gamer move at all. Now, when I came out, I was a little bit like gutted. I was like, oh God. Hopefully this doesn't absolutely mess me up. These lot, they looked pretty slow. And obviously this was a race win we had to hear on the cards. I'm focused, man. Slight bit of oversteer as we go over the bump there. Naughty, naughty. And at this point, honestly, if I threw the race away from a, a race strategy error, I think I most likely would have cried. We can see here, as we go into lap seven, everyone else is pitting other than this Cayman who's deciding to go out for one more lap. And strangely enough, the two guys I was battling out front also stay out. So you can make the assumption they're going for the no-stop strategy. As we go here into the penultimate corner, right on this Cayman's bumper, a slight tap on the rear, but I honestly don't really know where I could have gone here. And then another tap on the exit as we see Bertie here pitting in second place. So he was the guy behind CJ that we were battling. We are well clear of P3, well clear. Strangely enough, CJ's decided to stay out and has only pitted one lap afterwards so the big question is where was he going to come out and honestly you could not write this look at that within not even what is that two tenths if that i'm trying to go around the outside at this point in the race i had absolutely no idea if he'd taken new tires or if he'd not taken new tires i can tell you he did not take brand new medium so we had the advantage going into the last two laps here the elusive race win was it gonna happen no, I'm not having this. I am not having this. If you want to get, if you want to do that, 
I'm not having it anymore. Come here. Maybe not as egregious as the last guy, but still an absolute dive bomb. Gave me none of the space. Could you assume maybe it was his tires giving up on him? Maybe. You love me or hate me? I don't care. But don't play with me. But honestly, I was so fed up with this happening all stream. So you know what? I was like, I'm going to give you a little bit of a taste of your own medicine. And I did the exact same thing to him back. <laughs> And he got a little bit argy-bargy. You can see there, he tapped my rear bumper going into there, but obviously he did not take the tires. This would come to really bite him in the ass. He slowed me down ever so slightly, but this was my race to win with one lap to go, the Delta, all the way up to a second. The elusive race win we were searching for was finally over, lads. Oh, he's gone off. He's gone off. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Guys. <laughs> Guys. Oh, we've turned it. Let's go. Let's go. Let me get some doves in chat right now. P1. 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 Yep, the first victory in a month, and that is going to have huge benefits to our driver rating. So let's go ahead and have a look at that now. Now, as you can see, this week we have made a positive improvement to our driver rating. Now, if you watch the stream, you'll know we had some terrible performances, a few P12s, a few P10s. We got spun out so much. So the fact that this week we come out with a positive effect to our driver score is absolutely huge. But slowly but surely, we're getting there for sure. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and hit the like, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this new format down below trying something a little bit different to the usual format but go ahead and you know check the vod out as well uh, there's a lot of races that didn't make the kind of video so i'll leave a link to that in the card up top and in the description again make sure to go ahead and hit the bell icon so you never miss a stream we'll be live again next week for more gran turismo daily races and i will see you guys in the next one you guys have been awesome stay safe and peace you know,